Right, so if you've been paying attention, you'll notice that I haven't recorded a video in a little while. I've been busy doing other things. I've been doing presentations, which I'll get to in a bit, uh, all that sort of stuff. But look, in a nutshell, the other thing was I didn't really have much to say uh, about the article that I shared a few weeks ago. Uh, and it's titled, Here's the One Voice You Need to Start Listening to Above All Others. It was fairly self-explanatory. I was really just talking about uh, the power of what, what we call your intuition or your inner voice. And I related how there have been times in the past where I thought that maybe I was leaping to conclusions about people or about situations. Uh, and then that initial hunch that I had, that ended up being bang on the money. And so I was, look, if, you should go and read it for yourself to get full details. But in essence, yeah, I, I don't really have too much more to say about that than what I wrote. You've just got to listen to that little voice uh, because that will guide a lot of your best decisions. Uh, and yeah, we do make mistakes sometimes, but if you didn't listen to that uh, uh, a particular impression that you got early of somebody or of a certain situation, if you don't listen to that uh, and then you regret it later, it's much worse than just going with your gut and being wrong about that. So yeah, that's that article out of the way. I'll provide the link for you as always down below and check it out for yourself if you haven't read it. But my most recent article, which is titled Why Your Most Valuable Lead Don't Trust You or A Tale of Two Kitties. Look, it's, it's very difficult these days to earn people's trust uh, because there's so many people out there who make big promises and they tell you that if you hand over the money, uh, those dreams that you've been waiting on, they'll come true. And then these people don't deliver. And yeah, obviously, if you've been burnt by someone like that, it's not fun for you, but it's not fun for people like us either uh, because it makes it that much more difficult, doesn't it, to, to earn their trust. If you come along afterwards and you say, look, I'm, I'm not the same person. I can actually provide the solution for you. And the funny thing is um, it relates with a, a presentation that I did just last week. I did a presentation at the Nexus Hub up there in Wyong where I talked about I, I talked about the importance of effective copywriting for your online business success. Uh, regardless of what industry you're in, you need to be paying attention to your copywriting if you want to have a strong online presence and if you want to continue to get leads and referrals and sales and long-term top value customers from that. Uh, and it's especially important today because like I said there's a lot of people out there and you may well have seen these people at uh, at certain conferences or seminars or perhaps in the ads for other videos on YouTube and they make all kinds of big promises about the sort of money that you can make in a very short space of time they sell you your dreams uh, but then they don't really give you anything other than a, a very interrupted sleep so it's frustrating it's frustrating for people like me because it's people like that that make it so much more difficult for somebody like me to sell uh, but it can be done. Uh, and through keeping a regular blog, if you've been paying attention to my posts previously, keeping a regular blog is a fantastic way of uh, reducing that buyer's resistance. Uh, because the more that people trust you, the more that you're publishing articles where people can see, uh, can see what you're about and you're answering their questions and you're solving their problems and you're demonstrating your expertise, the more that you can do that, the more people trust you and the more likely they are to buy from you. Uh, and in doing so, it removes one of the biggest obstacles to selling, which is trust. So that's something to keep in mind. You can still beat these uh, these snake oil salespeople out there. It's just you've got to think about the strategy in doing so. And it's not necessarily a quick fix, but uh, you're building yourself up to really reap the rewards long term. And who wouldn't like that? Like, Wouldn't you love to be able to set your business marketing up with a long-term goal in mind to be able to deliver more uh, more value to your business in the longer term rather than just going for a short-term fix. So, yeah, I did present about that last week and it's just funny uh, because uh, through no intention of my own, mind you, it tied into my most recent article where I've spoken about having to build up people's trust because people have been burnt before, uh, not just in personal relationships but in professional relationships. And a lot of the same principles still apply. So that article's down below for you to check out as well, guys. Uh, yeah, check, read that one for yourself and see what you get out of it. But uh, for those of you on the Central Coast, uh, I will be presenting again this coming Friday on the, uh, just let me have a quick look. It's on the 22nd of March at the Delish Cafe at Erina. Uh, and I'll provide a link down below as well if you want to come along to that. I strongly recommend you do because I'm going to be talking about the importance of effective copywriting 
I'm going to be revealing the real stats on blogging, uh, and you might be amazed at what uh, what the data actually says when it comes to blogging. You've got to check this out. So if you're on the Central Coast and you're going to be around Erin Away on Friday, come along. I'll provide the link for you guys. Uh, but otherwise, share this video as always. Tell me what you reckon, uh, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Catch you later.